Welcome to the Wally Show precast uh, today, streaming on Facebook.com, or not Facebook.com, just Facebook, uh, Facebook Live and uh, YouTube as well. Uh, not going to take too much time in the precast here because we want to get right into or jump right into uh, <laughs> all of Becca's skydiving uh, adventures that we had today with the U.S. Army Golden Knight. So here you go. This is the podcast from today as we were out at Outlaw Field up uh, near Fort Campbell with the U.S. Army. Well, there you go. That is going to do it for your podcast. But we need to get to uh, some birthdays and some uh, last-minute skydivey kind of stuff. Uh, now, Becca, we still have not been able to confirm that you did yell Leroy, Leroy Jenkins because that was the whole thing. We're like, you have to do that. That's I know. the only thing you have to remember. Well, it's hard because at that point, everything's so loud because the wind's hitting you and the propellers and the doors open and everything. The propellers are hitting yes, you? <laughs> she oh, survived. my goodness. No, no, no. You know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, but in the video, I swear you can see me mouthing you swear at least. In the video, le- yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'll, I can see that happening. I'll let you finish now. Are you done with that video yet, Zach? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, the video you can't see yet. Uh, uh, but in the video, you can see me mouth at least Leroy. Okay. I, and I swear I said it. But um, in the air, like by all my pictures are like. Yeah, you just see her <laughs> mouth agape. I, it's, it, I'm it's i surprised, like, falling at 125 miles an hour with your mouth that wide open, it doesn't just fill you with air. Yeah. Like, and your lungs don't explode. No, it, it, and it's, I was, once he hit the parachute, I realized that I had, like, saliva all <laughs> <laughs> my face. Really? And I'm like, I am so sorry if I spit on you. He's like, oh, it happens all the time. Yeah. He's like, but you didn't, so good news. But I, I was, like, drooling My everywhere. nose ran when I jumped before, mm. like, all up into my goggles That's and disgusting. stuff. It was really bad. Uh-huh. But during the, during the free fall, I was thinking I was like they're I was like they're capturing audio so I'm like this is awesome this is awesome and so that's why my mouth is yeah, and you can't. Yeah, you can't hear anything in no, the, in the free fall. But the army was great, man. And all like Lieutenant Colonel Pulaski that everybody loved on the show was uh, great today. It was weird. I feel like like uh, he was cheating on us. So I watched him on the news today talk to like the news people, and and he had fun with them too. And like, no, was, was he allowed. faking it with us? Like, yeah. you know, yep. he, didn't he didn't have as much fun with them though. That's true. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's true. He likes us best. We have a, we have a special place in uh, Lieutenant Colonel Pulaski's heart. I think that's His what we're gonna tell ourselves. Too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's get to uh, some birthdays here. Uh, we have a bunch to make up for for Wednesday. Uh, bec- or not Wednesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Yes. I lost track of days this week. It's been busy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I want to start with Brielle. Uh, she is turning 25 today. Happy birthday. She said, if you had to pick an extreme sport to try, what would it be and why? And I thought it was a perfect question because after skydiving, I am legitimately like, I, I want to get like licensed in this. I want to go by myself. I want to go all the time. Okay. I want to join a team. Oh, I, I know. Clown school. Do yes, it. you should totally wow. do that. That's your next you, extreme. You not just but you're invincible. Yes. I already did the. I did. I did the thing. That is your next extreme <laughs> I, I, adventure. I is clown thing. school. I will go to clown school if you jump out of an airplane. Deal. Oh! <laughs> didn't expect that to go there. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. I will pay for both. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's weird, man. Like, did anybody uh, look up how much parachutes cost last night? Did no, anyone I do? didn't. I did. Like, I like because I was like, I'm not gonna buy my own. That just like just yeah. for fun. Yeah. No. Well, I found one on eBay, <laughs> and I'm like, should I get a used parachute? It was 900 bucks. And used once, never opened. Yeah, and then like, and the guy who got it uh, got it out of a storage unit. Like he bought a storage oh. unit, and there was so I'm not gonna get that one. No. Uh, but no, I walked out of there yesterday going, I want to do, I want a hobby that is kind of extreme. And yeah. so like, I I thought, okay, maybe skydiving. Uh, so I wanted to see what the costs were of it. I still think I want to. Instead of that, I still think I want to do my glider flying that I started doing. That you guys got me a gift certificate that for. That you still have it. You. I haven't been able to. Your the birth- weather was horrible. Your birthday's in August, and if you don't use it by August, you're not getting a gift I, this un- year. And totally understandable. That's a good deal. Totally right? understandable. That's smart. I'm going the week after we get back from Africa. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, yeah, so I'd like to do something extreme. Zach, you are Captain Extreme. <laughs> yeah, that's my middle name. Uh, I w- I want to do one of those where you like. Um, is it? parasailing where you're pulled behind a boat oh i've done yeah. that that looks like a lot of fun it is the most relaxing thing i've ever done oh well that's not extreme yeah it was so quiet i did it with joey when we were dating and you go up and you're just like oh this is nice 
It, it, it was so calm. I really? would, I would. The only way that that would be extreme is if you do the one where they don't launch you off the boat. You just kind of float up. If they do the one where they, you have to run as they pull you off the beach. Oh no! I... You watch people face plant, <laughs> get drugged through the sand into the water, and then they kind of pop out. If you think I can run fast enough to get airtime, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, what would be extreme for you? I would like to wrangle kittens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is very extreme what because about there are claws. No, there are claws involved in teeth mm-hmm. so and lots of hair you could choke yeah uh, well you're not supposed to lick them <laughs> <laughs> i can't uh, think of anything like the hoverboard thing seems fun the thing that you like goes up above the the water i want to like kite surf air. yeah oh that is really the jet board oh the, the yes. jet ski right no jet boarding okay yes that would yes. be awesome uh I- what what's kite surfing like? What's the difference between that? Kite and... surfing is like you have like a parachute above you, kind of, and you got a, a wakeboard on, and oh, okay. you the wind pulls you across the water, and it will take you does twenty feet in the air. Yeah, like until it goes south, it's fun. On Facebook, uh, Robin says to do play roller d- derby. That'd be mm. a fun. Oh, oh yeah, fun. I played roller hockey. I like that better than roller derby. Mm. Yeah. So uh, okay, let's get through some of these birthdays. I'm so sorry. We're gonna blow through some of these because there are a lot of people uh, for the last two days. So uh, this is from uh, Hanin uh, and. Mike, or this from uh, Micah and Hanine both. Could you wish my dad a happy birthday from the two of us? Uh, yes, happy birthday there, dad. Also, uh, another dad one from Julia, her dad, Phil. He's a loyal potty, talks about uh, us all the time, and he identifies uh, with Zach because he's very punny. Mm. Uh, yeah, Melissa, thank you very much. Uh, happy birthday to you, turning 26. 26 years young. Anybody remember that age? Nope. nope. Oh, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't remember that age. Yeah, still 25. <laughs> no, I, I turned 26. Oh yeah, you're 26. 26 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you celebrating my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> can uh, this is from uh, Gar- or Garson? Uh, can you uh, wish my uh, wife Courtney a happy 27th birthday? Done and done her good sir. Thank you. And uh, finally, uh, it's a milestone birthday for my twin brother Matt and me Chris uh, today. So uh, could you wish us both a uh, happy uh, birthday? And uh, I think they are 40 years old. So mm, only wishing the twin a happy birthday. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, you're out of <laughs> the luck. The good there, twin. Chris. Uh, a couple questions with some vid- uh, questions here with some birthdays is um, uh, I know it's too late for my birthday. No, it's never too late, Josh. Happy birthday. Uh, but my question is, do you guys play up your personalities on the show? Uh, is uh, this how each of you are nat- or is this how each of you are naturally? It, it's I, That's a good question because people always ask us, oh, what is so-and-so really like? I, I think we're probably 95% like mm-hmm. this, you know, sometimes things get exaggerated or blown out of proportion to be funny. Like, I'm not, like, a crazy chauvinist, but I do it because it's funny. It's not funny. Yes, it, it's funny. <laughs> no. It's funny in a female format because all the other guys, like, that host radio shows in this format tend to be really, like, on the verge of kind of sounding like a girl. Okay, but you go the other extreme. Yes. Like, too far. Yes, but that's what makes it funny. It's like, like no. It's the exact opposite of how you should do this format, uh, but I, I find it funny. You think, find it there. You yes, go. I think uh, one aspect of me that gets blown out of proportion on the show is that I'm always correcting people because I'm not actually like you're that. You're literally but, correcting people but, right now. But you're just always wrong so much <laughs> that even if I correct ten percent, it seems like I'm always correcting. Is it exhausting being you? I'm just curious. No, no, not at all. Yeah, you, you, this recharges you, like finding faults with others and and finding like perfection. No, like, I. I would be exhausted by that. It comes natural. And um, it's not something I'm really trying to do. Yeah, it just happens. Correcting us again. You're just wrong a lot. I know. Yeah, that's why I exhaust you probably. I feel like there's a responsibility to get some facts correct when you're broadcasting on public airwaves. Yeah, and, I, and I don't. Man. <laughs> that's, see? Yeah. That's the... Uh, I, I the go for the, the broad strokes uh, there, the broad strokes no, approach. because there's right and there, there's... Never mind. <laughs> it's not a size of stroke issue. It drives a, him crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, it's Caleb. Uh, it's my brother Caleb's birthday. He's turning 15, loves the show. Uh, well, happy birthday, Caleb. The question I have is uh, I'm in my freshman year of college and was wondering uh, in what ways has college prepared you for living in the real world? Oh, delightful. Not at all. Hmm. Uh, no, it, it teaches you to kind of be your own person a little bit and to learn who you are and to live on your own. As far as in my career, my college didn't prepare me for my specific career at all but it did give me some foundational building blocks to then get on the job and learn and 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 just kind of do 
Uh, some careers you need the college to really prepare you for, but uh, that wasn't the case for me. Yeah, I had practical experience in college, so that's how it pre prepared me for a career. But I, I do agree it's a good bridge between living with your parents and living on your own because you're not totally responsible for yourself um, for the most part, but it, it teaches you some lessons before you're just 100% on your own. Yeah, it would have been hard to go straight from living yeah. with your parents to living on your own. Yeah. Uh, this is from uh, John says, uh, my lovely wife, Bridget, is turning 40 something uh, today. She's a great mother and wife. And I was hoping you could give her a birthday shout out. 100 percent. Happy birthday, Bridget, from John. I know the price of the birthday shout out. Here you go. With Wally starring in his own movie uh, and being chosen over the actors such as Brad Pitt, George Clooney uh, to play the part of Fitz. My question is, if they were to make a movie about you, who would you want to portray you okay oh, no. so yeah so uh boy. are we all answering this for you no for you guys not uh, for me why are you laughing oh Yo, you're laughing because you can take a shot uh, at me yeah oh, who so are you many. thinking yeah i don't know why the first one that popped in my head was chris Catan, but that's oh, not oh, i can see that <laughs> it's better than alf but... yeah i could have gone a lot worse <laughs> chris Catan annoys me <laughs> and then when it stop it and then when he was on dancing with the stars he was even more annoying really yeah oh, uh oh he would fit oh. perfect yeah, yeah. Uh, Betty Rock, who would play you? Zoe Deschanel. Okay, okay she'd yeah. have to dye her hair, but I could see that. She's she's a brunette, huh? Zoe Deschanel? Yes. <laughs> she's blonde in, isn't that the girl? That's a, in Elf. He's Elf? speaking in broad strokes, right. don't correct him. She has been blonde before, so that's <laughs> yes. how I know her. She's <laughs> always been brunette. She went blonde for that one role. You're kidding me. And then the rest of her roles, she's brunette. In her life. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that because yeah. I don't follow her. So I just assumed she was blonde. Yeah, wow, that's crazy. That. I could see that. I, uh, Becca. Man, I cannot think of somebody. I, ugh, I'm i going to go with Kristen Bell because I think she's cute, she but too small cute. to play me. She is little. Yeah, yeah. So what about someone that's more your height? How about Cindy Crawford? <laughs> I don't want a man to play She's me. tall. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Crawford's too old. Cameron Diaz. Oh. Man, no, she's obnoxious. Well. I don't know. I can't think of anybody. I'm we sorry. have to. We have to settle the show. Hudson. Oh, she, I, like, she I, do like Kate, I do like Kate Hudson. I'll go Hudson. with that. Kate Hudson. And the big one here is Zach. Who would play Zach? Oh Who is never wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I the oh, I know. The Jason guy, Alexander from uh, Seinfeld. I was going to go with the guy who, um, I don't know his name. He's in that thing you do. Um, he's, Tom Hanks. Yes, no, I'll take no. it. Thank you. And he was on that new show that... That we watched. Hold on. We're talking about Steve Zahn. Yes. Oh, Steve, Steve Zahn. Oh, oh Steve Zahn's great. Goodness, we were just talking about <laughs> Steve Zahn yesterday because uh -huh. I said, uh, Joe, your instructor oh. for jumping out. I I said he looks just like him, oh. and he said that's a terrible because he's obnoxious and he's ugly. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you just said today that he could play him. That is so that is ironic. Funny. Yeah. It's funny. I I could, but you can it. see it, right? Yeah. Oh, I see it now. But Glasses on Steve Zahn. Uh -huh. I love Steve Zahn. I think, I think he's, he's great. I think he's so funny. He but you're fun. right. My instructor does. No, he look looked like, like Chris O'Connell. Like exactly. He like did Chris have a little Chris O'Connell look yeah. to him. He looked like a short, stocky Chris O'Connell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like he said he was five six and weighed 170. And yeah, I, I jumped with a guy who's five six. Yeah, which I, was really funny. And That's you're five crazy. six, 180. Yeah, so yeah. you're pretty close. Yeah, I'm close to an army so guy. So he's short and stocky, <laughs> and you're short. I'm short and, and stockier. Oh, okay. Okay. Husky. I'm short and husky. <laughs> okay. <sighs> and he has to know how his way. How are those weight. family size tater tots today? I did not finish them. Uh, hmm. Let me see how many we got. I'll show Facebook. Uh, Becca went and bought breakfast today. This was the family size tots. And uh, I actually did a pretty good oh, job. Oh, you didn't even not, touch them. I, yeah, see, I didn't eat a whole so bunch. So why did you get the, all those? Well, no, I ate what I got. She paid for them. I know. Them. That's Look, rude. I bought lunch a million times. Uh, <laughs> I uh, no, no, no. Let's 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 no, no. Okay, I'm gonna play this card. Okay. When we went to Pi Five for yes. a show meeting, yes. Did you pay for your own lunch? No, you bought me that. Lunch. I bought you yeah. lunch. Did I parade it around? No, no. no so I never do, do that. Yeah. Right, that's news so to me. So did you? Do you always buy lunch? No, sir? I said I bought it a million times. I do usually. Usually when we go out that or we really do nice breakfast, I usually buy. Breakfast. I know. That's I feel so like nice I had Rebecca. to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She even uh, bought us breakfast today. Yeah. Oh. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a I long two tired. days. I'm just tired. 50 year old. I know. You should eat some you. pick me up tots. I can't. I, for, tots. What I, for, whatever, for whatever reason, the tots, I don't know if my body, this is a, a horrible situation. I look like a tater tot. I understand that. <laughs> but for whatever reason, my body today was like, hey, 
you might not want to eat the rest of these tots. Like, I, like I don't feel good. Like, and, and the thought of having another tot made me queasy, which wow. really makes me question everything in life. Uh, Is and, this because you've been so strict on the fry diet? Like, yes. veering from that no. so dramatically? Here's the problem. Like, it, even today's Wednesday. So, Wednesday is uh, my teaching day. Right. So, I go get a, a Coke with no ice at McDonald's, and then I go get my French fries at Five Guys. <laughs> right. I don't even feel like the French fries. Like, even the smell of the tater tots right now What's is making me sick. To you? I don't know. I think I'm you're dying. dying. <laughs> yes. Now, one of us is smiling when we said that, the other, not so much. Can we not pass over the fact that you get your Coke at one restaurant and. <laughs> <laughs> Your fries at another restaurant that also has Coke. They have Coke, but it's out of those stupid red machines oh where gosh. you mix all the soda. And I swear to you, it doesn't taste the You're same. You're so high maintenance. It's not as good. I would love it's, to see your Heaven's Fire rider. It's not. I'm telling you, it's Coke not. Coke from McDonald's, fries from Five Guys, and a burger from Burger King. Yeah, it's not as good. And so, yeah, that's what I do. And so the other day, normally I get it to go and I leave my soda in the truck. Soda. But uh, this time, for uh, last week, I had time. I got out a little early. Earlier, and so uh, I brought my soda in, my Coke in, and drank my uh, McDonald's Coke in uh, Five Guys, and finished up my uh, fry. It that there. would feel weird. Mm -hmm. I, 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 can't I was do that. I was watching them to see if they were watching me to see if I would go up to the Coke machine and and like <laughs> refill my Coke, which I did not do because oh, their Coke you. stinks. Well, yeah, their Coke their stinks. Coke st it's horrible. Every every place that has those red Coke machines where you can mix a thousand flavors is horrible. I love Fantastic. freestyle machines, Ugh, except for the line they create. Right, but usually I think I feel like by now people know how to, to use be them. able to add in the flavorings and the. But yes. when they first came out, it was like right. everyone who got up to the machine had to push every like, page. Is there a manual here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No one knows how to work on it. The worst is it for some reason at Moe's where we go in Spring Hill. There's a bottleneck for that machine, and uh, it's a really tight area. And people like race if they see someone getting up, they race to it to try to beat them. Like. And there's always like 10 inches of ice underneath. Yes, yes. <laughs> like people fill up their cup and then yeah. just empty it. Yeah. And kids are the worst at those machines because they can't uh -huh. decide. Like kids at the Coke machines and Redbox. Like families at Redbox when you're trying to get a movie and you know what you want or you've already reserved it. All you want to do is pick it up. Yeah. And they got 10 kids trying to decide on what movie they're going to watch that night. Oh. I reserved a, a movie and it was in A. There was A and B. There's one guy in A, so I stand in line behind him, and he's done, so I'm about to step up, and a father is is at B, but, or, no, he's just walking up, he's like, hey, man, I just gotta, can I just return this real quick? So I'm like, okay, sure. So he returns it, and then his two kids come out of the car, no, no, no. and they stand there for 10 minutes no, picking, no, no. picking three movies. No! <laughs> That dad, like, who are that, you? yeah, that dad at that point when the kids go, we want to get a movie, we want to get a movie. You go, you know what? This gentleman was so nice. He let me uh, return the movie. We're gonna let him get his, and then yeah. we'll get back in. Like that's a dad issue. Yeah, he needed uh, like parental jail for that. Yeah, that's just crazy. That'd that's be a wrong. good topic, parental jail. I literally had to send there for ten minutes. Can you imagine that? No. no. How horrible of a situation that is. Next week, it's not gonna <laughs> see as, seem as much of a big deal when we're in Africa watching people starve. I know. So uh, I hate the weeks like leading up up to and after these trips because you're just like oh yeah yep i'm ridiculous yeah it doesn't matter it's like yep. i'm i really man i'm i'm like right now just personally here i'm gonna just get vulnerable for you man i'm gonna take my voice down and uh i have like zero patience right now <laughs> <laughs> and i like with everything and i even had this conversation with marty the other day uh i was like yeah i just i don't have patience and she's like i'm like with anything and and, and anybody and she's like with me too i'm like yeah kind of you know i'm like and it's not you like it's not like you did anything it's a total internal me thing where just everything is annoying me and i can't get it figured out i mean i, I i'm anxious i i'm i got a hair trigger still it's gotten better because i'm starting to be more aware of it and then try to calmly breathe through it but the fact that it still hits me and i and i recoil and if i don't say anything i just internalize it and I just, I'm, I'm just kind of losing my mind lately about this stuff. And I don't know why. I'd love to get it figured out. I get that. I've told my wife multiple times in the last couple of weeks, I want to move to an island with no electricity and no people. Yeah, I get, <laughs> like, yeah. I just need Including to be gone her? for a while. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wow, that really got serious. Fast. Yeah, and well, that, well, but I, when you say all people, it means it's not about her. It's about like obviously it's my issue. It's yeah, you know, but yeah, because that's the thing. And 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 I mean, obviously, both of us love our families without a doubt. But there's and I'm a, and I'm an extrovert, so usually I like being around people. But there's part of me that just wants to. I think I just need to escape 
for a little bit of time and just disappear for a, a while and just be by myself. You that's know? weird from you. Yeah, I don't, and I don't know why that's why that why that is. It should would we last five minutes? Should we rearrange our seats on the plane so we're not next to each other? No, no, it's all right. It'll be good. It'll be good. I don't want to sit next to anybody I don't know on a flight. <laughs> but I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm just gonna sit. I'm gonna pretend I don't even know you. I might even get you in trouble with the flight attendant, <laughs> just to see what happens. We're not flying United, so I'm not too scared. Yeah, yeah. When oh. we were in the plane getting ready, to, when we were when we were coming back down after you had already jumped, uh, back out. Zach and I were in the plane, uh, getting to shoot some video, and Zach was asking one of the guys, he's like, "Hey, can you drag Wally through the aisle here, like they did on United to that guy?" <laughs> and I really thought that would be funny. Like I totally would have been really funny. I would have done it in a heartbeat, but I'm like, it's the U.S. Army, and like that would not make that guy look yeah. good. <laughs> and like I wouldn't want to get him in trouble because they had all been so stinking cool to us. That would have been a funny spoof video for someone actually skydiving. Oh my gosh. Like maybe one of their own guys yes. who can go on their own, not oh, like a tandem jumper. That would have been Wouldn't awesome. that be a funny video? Yeah, yeah that would have been funny. Oh, that would be awesome. All right. All right. That is gonna have to do it for our uh podcast of all sorts here today. And uh I guess we'll do this all again tomorrow. Thanks for being a potty.